Former Union Finance Minister and Senior BGP Leader Arun Jaitley passes away in New Delhi. President, Prime Minister and other leaders express grief on Jaitley's demise. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says UAE can be a valuable partner in realizing India's $5 trillion economy, receive UAE's highest honor. Development of Northeast is important to fulfill Prime Minister's dream to make India a 5 trillion economy, says Information and Broadcasting Secretary Amit Khare. Janmashtami being celebrated in Assam and Tripura along with the rest of the country. And Pacer Ishan Sharma's five wickets haul helped India take control of the first cricket test against West Indies on day two. Good evening, viewers, and welcome to the Northeast News. This is Saraswati, and now the news in details. Senior BJP leader and former Finance Minister Arun Jaitley passed away in New Delhi today. He was ailing for some time. He was undergoing treatment in the intensive care unit under the supervision of a multidisciplinary team of doctors at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, AIMS, in New Delhi. In a statement, AIMS said Jaitley, who was admitted to the hospitals on 9th of this month, passed away at 12.07 p.m. today at the age of 66 years. President Ramnath Kovind has expressed grief over the passing away of Arun Jaitley. Kovind said, a brilliant lawyer, a seasoned parliamentarian and a distinguished minister, he contributed immensely to nation building. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu expressing grief said Jaitley's death is an irreparable loss for the country and personally to him. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed his grief over the demise of Arun Jaitley. In series of tweets, Modi said, Jaitley was a political giant, towering intellectual and legal luminary. He was an articulate leader who made a lasting contribution to India. Union Home Minister Amit Shah expressing grief said it is a personal loss for him and a great loss to the nation. In a condolence message, the Home Minister said that the contributions of Jaitley to the public life will be forever remembered. Further, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, Information and Broadcasting Minister Prakash Javdekar, Congress Interim President Sonia Gandhi, Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal, Tripura Chief Minister Biblab Kumar Dev, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar and several other union and state leaders mourned the death of Jaitley and expressed condolence to the bereaved family members of Arun Jaitley. assured me that he will be normal. I never expected that this end will come to his family and pray God to see that his soul rest in peace. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that United Arab Emirates can be India's valuable partner in realizing the objective to achieve $5 trillion economy through a mutually beneficial partnership. Speaking to the Emirates news agency representative in an interview, the Prime Minister said that India has embarked on the ambitions yet achievable path to be a $5 trillion economy by 2024-25. The country is targeting about $1.7 trillion worth of investments in the coming five years. To achieve this vision, the government is working to promote inflows from domestic as well as foreign sources. He said that UAE-India relations are at the best ever. There has been an increasing interest in investments in India in sectors ranging from renewable energy, food, Ports, airports, defense manufacturing, and other sectors, he added. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched Rupee Card in the United Arab Emirates today. With this, UAE has become the first country in the Middle East to have this facility. Narendra Modi will receive the highest civilian award of United Arab Emirates, the Order of Zaid, at a special function in a short while from now. 
Assam Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhi, Governor of Assam, Chancellor of Guwahati University, led a series of series of Swachita initiatives conducted by Guwahati Refinery in premises of the Guwahati University conducted as part of Swachita fortnight being observed at the refinery. Honorable Governor of Assam inaugurated a plantation drive, inaugurated installed sanitary napkin incinerators at the university's girls' hostels and handed over dustbins for use to the hostels of the university during a program organized at Birinchi Kumar Barwa Auditorium at Guwahati <laughs> University. He also distributed prizes to the winning participants of an essay writing competition organized among the students of university on the theme of Swachh Bharat Abhiyan during the program. The program also attended by Professor Pratap Jyoti Handik, Vice Chancellor Guwahati University, S. Manchinda, Executive Director, Guwahati Refinery, besides senior officials from Guwahati Refinery professors and students of Guwahati University. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's dream to make India a 5 trillion economy vastly dependent on the development of northeastern region as it is the gateway to the East Asia. The Secretary of Information and Broadcasting, IB Ministry Amit Khare, today made this remark while addressing the officers of various units under his ministry at two-day regional conference of Northeast Zone and Kolkata region, held in Guwahati that ended today. He said all the units under the ministry, mainly the regional news units, have the vital role to play for the purpose promoting the cultural heritage and highlighting the local issues of the region at the national level and to create a conducive atmosphere for investments here. Further stating, Khare stressed upon publishing various contents mostly in the local languages of the state. He also urged the officials of all the units to serve their respective states, setting up exemplary coordination amongst them, expressing his gratitude to the state government officials of various any states present at the conference. Khare highlighted the significance of coordination between the, the state and central agencies in the process of up. development. And many state governments are also taking new initiatives for development of the region. What we wish through this interactive two-day conference is to bring various media units of the ministry as also the directors and commissioners of information and public relations of the an inter-ministerial central team, IMCT, will conduct on the spot assessment of flood situation in the affected states. Ministry of Home Affairs had recently constituted a team to visit Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, Bihar, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Karnataka and Kerala affected by recent floods. Till now, the IMCTs used to visit the affected states only once after the receipt of memorandum from the concerned state. The same IMCT will again visit the state after submission of the memorandum for detailed assessment of damages and relief operations conducted for making final recommendations for allocation of additional funds. The seventh economic census in the state of Meghalaya was launched on Thursday by the additional Chief Secretary H. Marwin in Shillong. Addressing the launching program, H. Marwin said that this massive exercise is being conducted to provide disaggregated information on various operational and structural aspects of all economic establishments. This economic census will provide valuable insights into geographical spread clusters of economic activities, ownership pattern and pa persons of the establishments engaged in economic activities. During the program, the additional Chief Secretary also and launched the mobile app which will be used by enumerators and the supervisors in this economic census. Celebrations of Sri Krishna Janmashtami, the festival that marks the advent of Lord Krishna, is being observed in the state since Friday along with the rest of the country. Janmashtami that signifies the arrival of the incarnation of Lord Vishnu to eliminate all evil forces on art has its own regional flavor in Assam with Satras and Namgars holding special programs in Kirtan to welcome the deity. In Guwahati city, the Krishna Janmashtami Utsav celebrated by the ISKCON and Hare Krishna movement organizing separately to mark the occasion. Beginning with Kirtan and Bhajan ISKCON celebrates Janmashtami with various colorful programs, Maha Abhishekam and Mahamangal Arti will be performed by devotees today's evening and tomorrow. On the other hand, Hare Krishna movement also celebrated Sri Krishna Janmashtami and Nandotsav in Sonaramphil at Bharalumo. Kirtan and Bhajan lecture on Janmashtami, Maha Abhishekam and various cultural programs is performed by devotees 
are the chief attraction of this program. Swami Vivekananda Chetan Manch, Vishwa Hindu Parishad and other several organizations jointly organize Sri Krishna Janmashtami Utsav today in Morigaon, where Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal was the chief guest. Janmashtami, which marks the birth Lord Krishna, is being celebrated in different parts of Tripura today with religious fervor and gaiety. Iskan Temple and Sri Krishna Mandir Jagannath Temple have been tastefully decorated for the occasion. Vishwa Hindu Parishad today organized a massive rally to mark the occasion. The occasion has also been celebrated in the other parts of Tripura with religious fervor and gaiety. Chief Minister Biplav Kumar Dev has greeted the people of the state on the occasion of Janmashtami. The 7th Northeast Zone Shooting Championship 2019 in rifle and pistol events concluded last evening at Guwahati Sports Shooting Range of 4th APBN Complex Kailipara, Guwahati, Assam. The event was held from 19th to 23rd August 2019 under the aegis of National Rifle Association of India. This championship was conducted by Assam Rifle Shooting Association under the aegis of National Rifle Association of India. Around 250 shooters from the different parts of the Northeast took part in the competition in different categories, youth, junior, senior and veteran. Addressing the gathering after distribution of the prize to the winners, Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal, who was the chief guest in the valedictory ceremony, said that the state government is committed to all-round development of sports and games in the state. Pointing out the government vision plan to convert Guwahati as a major sports hub in the Northeast, as also the entire country, the Chief Minister said that the state government is giving finishing touches to the sports integration policy in which all winners of Olympic and World Championships will be given financial help and jobs. In cricket, Pacer Ishan Sharma's five-wicket haul helped India take control of the first test against West Indies on day two yesterday. The West Indies were 189 for eight in the first innings at Stumps, trailing behind India by 108 runs. Ishan Sharma claimed five wicket for 42, removing Braithwaite, Rawson Chase, Shea Hope, Shimran Hitmer and Kemir Roach. Ishan Sharma, five-wicket haul was his ninth in test. India, who resumed the day at 203 for six, went on to make 297 courtesy a uh, fighting 58 from Ravindra Jadeja, who was ably uh, supported by Ishan during their 60-run stand for the eight-wicket. Manipur is all set to host the first ever corporate social responsibility conclave on 6 September this year in Imphal. This was announced by Chief Minister Anbirin Singh after signing memorandum of agreement between Airport Authority of India and the state government for procurement of essential equipments for new accident and trauma center with the financial assistance of AAI under the CSR initiative at Chief Minister Secretariat on Friday. Chief Minister Birin Singh speaking on the occasion say that more than 70 companies quality. and that firms would be quality. participating in the upcoming event. Right, he maintained the government is, is uh, expecting large-scale CSR investment in Manipur. Should the government is also hopeful of positive quality. response from many corporate firms so during Manipur the conclave, the he LSC, added. In Tripura, State Education Minister Ratan Lal Nath claimed that the overall law and order situation has improved throughout the state in comparison to the previous left from government. Addressing a press conference in Agartala, Nath said that the law and order prevailing good in 17 months and there has been several achievements and suspension of police officials involved in various illegal activities across the state. He said that there has been 1,000 cases of crimes against women recorded in 2017, while 924 cases in 2018, 579 cases in ca 8 months in 2019, 124 murders took place in 2017 and 79 murders in 8 months of 2019. Minister said Tripura police achievement in non-IPC cases, 177 cases in 2017, 623 cases in 2018 and 280 cases in this eight months of 2019. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.